Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We go wild a bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but there is a big, major divorce about to happen in Hollywood. I'm talking this divorce could cost this man two hundred million dollars. Oh snap! Ooh. And y'all know who he is, and we know him very well. Drop it like it's hot. Drop, Drop it like it's hot. hot. Yeah. Hot Powered by 1-800-TRUCK-RACK. Well, first, got to talk about the Carrollton High School teacher is no longer in the classroom after a school trip to South Padre Island last month. Uh, left the students unsupervised where they started having parties. They were drinking <laughs> and everything else. This is kind of unfair. So, so there, there were seven chaperones. It's, uh, the, yeah, where were they? Yeah. They're, they're from New... This whole thing is from Newman Smith, okay? Newman Smith High School. Um, they had the band, the orchestra, the dance students over there. They're not saying where the the chaperones were. They're just saying that they believe the kids were unsupervised. So now some of the kids are being suspended because yeah. they were drinking. Um, they were partying hard, weren't they? I did who that goes to trip. South Padre for a school Thank trip? Thank you. I was getting ready to say that. Like that's that's the you, party place. South like, Padre Islands. Where you go on spring break, summer, everything. Exactly. So my my senior year, South Padre was like the quote unquote yeah. unofficial senior trip. Yeah. Because we didn't have an official one, and so my mom let me pay my seventy five dollar deposit. I was ready to go. My mom ended up coming up to the school for something my principal hated and said, oh, you know that's unsupervised. You know that's not through the school. Mm. So my mom never let me go on a freaking I trip. Never, I never got to go on any type of high school you didn't? trip. No, no. I went to Puerto Rico for a school trip. Are you serious? Yep, and got in trouble. For drinking. Why? Yeah, surprise, surprise. Oh, yeah, right. And she tried to put me on, uh, like, in the room, like, you can't leave the like room. Like, house or whatever. arrest? Yeah. But my dad was in Puerto Rico, too. So my dad came over and he was like, wait a second. I'm paying for this trip. Get your ass out the wait, room and go enjoy yourself. Your dad was in Puerto Rico at the same time? He, that was his uh, business place. That's where he's a salesperson. He was a oh. salesperson. So that was his territory. So he was there at the same time. So he was like, just come on so out. So he didn't get on you for drinking? I don't think he really knew I drank. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I probably didn't tell him the whole story, but yeah. he was like, you're not going to stay in the room. I pay for this. So hold on. I'm really mad right now. I feel like I didn't have a good, like, like high school life. I didn't go to the me prom. Me either. I, well, didn't go, yeah. you, uh, I didn't get to go on trips. Well, like, nobody ever asked me out. I had to be in the house at 11. Yeah, but your adult life is but sensational. Now you're winning. Hold yeah. on. You're I, winning. You're, you, you, you're, you're, you have private jets. You got boats. You blossomed later. You got huge houses. Yes. I mean, you're, you're beating us now. We were oh. beating you then. Yeah. Now you've sorted. Okay, ahead. I feel better now. Yeah. Yes. You definitely life won. Life is good for you. I definitely won. You're beautiful. I, I feel better. Your waist I, is snatched. I feel better. Uh-huh. You got a great weave. Thanks, that's it. <laughs> your husband's amazing. amazing. There it is, right. Saint baby there black. There it is. I feel yeah. good. Yeah. You need any more? Man, no, I'm good. I okay. feel better. My self-esteem is back up. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thanks. Absolutely. We I got appreciate it. High that. school did suck for you, but. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> my, you have turned into a he swan. Brought, he my brought God. me down again. <laughs> Just hearing it. Hey, did you see uh, Nipsey Hussle's sister? She filed for guardianship. Remember of his daughter yesterday it was announced? Yeah, mm. she did. She was denied. The court actually said, no, 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 no. There's no urgency. But now we're finding out what's going on. It's all because Nipsey Hussle's um, estate has made a lot more money. Yeah. That means that child support will go up. He also left his children with trust funds or something like mm-hmm. that. Right? And so whoever has custody of his daughter can say, hey, I need to go into this trust Man. to get money or whatever. And so Nipsey Hussle's sister is not wanting the baby's mom to get access. Right. Because they were, rotten. yeah. Now wait, because I guess they're also saying that Nipsey and her really they, shared custody. They did, and they said that it, he was with her. The daughter was with him most of the time. So that's why it is so. You have to have a will, mm-hmm. and we always we don't do it, but right. you have to have a will to put things in place just in case something well, happens. I don't think that even with the will, it would have stopped child support. Yeah, I mean that it is. And stop. they have they have shared custody. Yeah, if he's a, a guardian, it's not going to stop the trust fund thing. Mm. So they're trying to, you know, we're going to see what's going to happen. But they said that the sister also did do this without the mom even knowing. Mm-hmm. The mom even mm-hmm. yeah. So clearly their relationship isn't good. Not good at all. <laughs> what? Hey, I'm hearing something of bombshell. Jay just told me. I said, no, girl. Yeah, this is sad. And this is out here. They are saying that this divorce could happen and cost this man $200 million. You guys will never believe who they're saying it is. They're saying Steve Harvey. <laughs> And his like, wife, Marjorie. Wow. Why? Which I'm like, is this true? I just saw them kissing on Instagram. Like, literally. I'm not even joking. She just posted. Jade, I saw you on Instagram kissing your husband. And then a week later, all of a sudden. <laughs> wow. You know what? You are on to something. Because I, yeah. I came in here. What? Yes. I didn't even tell y'all when I was <laughs> so going through my divorce. I she was didn't. still posting stuff. She you didn't like, tell us. Surprise. Yeah. yeah. Guess who's back in these streets, baby? We were like, like, y'all were just with us. Yeah. I, I know it happens fast. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. But anyway, they're, they're claiming, this is the rumor, uh, that Steve Harvey is kind trying to liquidate all his assets right now and change a bunch of properties into his name because allegedly he got hit the hard way with his first wife. Oh, uh, so he's being smart. So he's trying to be proactive. He's doing like Wendy Williams did. Yeah. yeah. You sit back and you think first. Yeah. And you think, how can I make sure all my ducks are in a row? It's very true. And not get too emotional and be smart about this. Yeah. You should have been smart and had to sign a damn prenup. There's no way in the world. I'm getting married to somebody. You're not signing would the prenup. Would you be offended, though? No, seriously. I mean, honestly, Didi, like, mm-hmm. would you be offended if your husband would have asked you to sign a prenup? If I walked in with less than him, no. You I get, I get, because I can get somebody. If you have worked your butt off to get to where you are, exactly, and you made all of it, yeah, I think that people should protect themselves, and a person should not be offended because if you love, you got to understand how I feel about the fact that. I didn't work my butt off to get here. Yeah. This is mine. You come in with what you came with. I, you know, and, and I'm going to give you something. And I get if we, we make more money to get as we're, we're married. Right. So we could split from that point on, but everything else that was mine before you, I got to walk out of here. And your you know, life. and I do agree with you 100%. This is just me playing devil's advocate, yeah. right? Yeah. This is coming from a divorced person. I don't know if I would be okay with the man that asked me to marry him by saying, by the way, I need you to go ahead and sign this. It's almost like you're planning for the breakup. No, you know? just in case. Mm-hmm. I wear a seatbelt. Hey, you got to be case. realistic. <laughs> Hold on. All the, what do they say? 50% of uh, divorces in, I mean, a marriage is in a divorce. 50%. Yeah. So at some point, we got to be realistic, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. but I would be like, well, what about the 50% that works out? Like, And, and when you get married, it's going to be what's mine is yours, what's yours is mine. And this is coming from a divorced oh, person. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. And I'm married. I'm like, uh-uh. Girl. That's a yeah. lovely thought, Jay. That's, that's really nice of you. I'm, I know. I'm saying it now. I, I think know. you're gorgeous, but you sign a prenup with me. Wake <laughs> <laughs> that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. You're wild a bit.